Okay, what's new in Doctor Who news? What? Beep the meep? No. Well, hello there. In Australia, we have these things called quokkas. They live on the most southern point of Western Australia, existing only on a few islands and a little bit on the mainland where they're in protected areas and uh, shrubland and that sort of stuff. They are an endangered species and their numbers are dwindling. So if you want to help the quokka, links in the description because I'm not gonna make them look good in this. Anyway, the reason why I bring it up is because they seem to be what you would get if you genetically engineered a Disney cartoon animal. People thought that the platypus was a hoax, but honestly, I had a harder time believing that these things existed. They are so freaking adorable that they look like they can't be real. And because of their isolation, they've developed a sort of island tameness, with no instinct to fear of humans. So you can go right up to them and pat them and feed them and oh my golly gosh, I want to go there now. It seems like the perfect holiday spot for anybody who wants to make believe that they're in a Disney cartoon. Anyway, give these little guys longer ears, make them a little bit plumper, change their fur color to gray, then give them sentience and make them violent, sadistic psychopaths, hell bent on domination. And then you have Beep the Meep. But who is Beep the Meep? What is Beep the Meep? Why does his name sound like a sex thing? Well, he's a meep, and also the villain for the 60th anniversary special. Apparently. Beep's first appearance in the canon was in the comic strip Doctor Who and the Star Beast, written by Matt Mills and John Wagner, in issues 19 to 26 of Doctor Who Weekly. His people are called the Meeps, and they were a peaceful yet advanced race of adorable little fluffballs. That is until their natures were dramatically shifted, when their planet's orbit came across a black sun, the radiation of which changed them beyond belief making them aggressive and expansionist. That's right. Unfortunately, the Meeps became... Americans! But they maintained all of their cuteness. They began mercilessly conquering and subjugating other worlds in what must have been the most adorable reign of terror in all of creation. They weren't allowed to get away with this for long, though, when the Star Council authorized that the use of genetically engineered insectoid law and forces called Wraith Warriors should be used. The war against the Meeps was indeed a brutal one. The Meeps would use their cuddliness to their advantage, so you couldn't shoot one between the eyes without feeling like the kind of person who would gas kittens. But it did eventually end with the destruction of the Meep Armada at the Battle of Yaris. But Beep the Meep, mightiest of all the Meeps, and ruler of the Meeps, escaped. Beep is a sadist at heart, inflicting pain on others for no real reason except for his own enjoyment. He resents the fact that others perceive him as cute and cuddly, but never flinches against using that to his advantage, to manipulate people into doing his bidding. He also harbors a deep hatred and resentment of anything that is cute, taking delight in destroying dogs, kittens, birds, and anything else that makes you go, Aww. If he knew about the Quokkas, he would probably nuke them from orbit. RUN AWAY PIPPIN! IT'S NOT SAFE HERE ANYMORE! He crosses paths with the Doctor for the first time immediately after he escapes the Battle of Yaris, when the Wraith Warriors chase him across the cosmos until he is eventually shot down over Earth and lands in the city of Black Castle, England, where he uses his charm to convince some school children that he's just a cute little cuddly, wettily harmless little weep who's being chased and bullied by these mean old ugly wraiths. And the fourth Doctor, taken in by his cuteness, offers his protection. That is until he realises that Meep is actually hypnotising the townspeople to help him fix his hyperdrive, so he could escape into hyperspace. Well, I guess that's okay, I mean he needs to get his ship fixed. But in doing so, he would end up destroying the entire town in the process. So the Doctor switched sides, for obvious reasons, and helped the Wraiths apprehend Meep, to face justice for his many, many war crimes. It's not long before he gets away again though. He ends up convincing the parole board that he is completely rehabilitated. Upon his release, he returns to Black Castle to retrieve his spare starship drive, but is thwarted again by the Doctor, who traps him in a Lassie film. I'm not sure how that works, but I've seen stupider things in comics, and in Doctor Who. The film is stored in the Wraith Institute, where I'm sure they will keep it under lock and key, protecting it at all costs, for fear that Beep might once again escape and rain havoc across the cosmos. 
<laughs> nah, they didn't. A little girl gets hold of her and she watches it over and over and over again. And Meep is able to influence her through the film and she manages to set him free. This is where we get to the audio ratings war. And it was my introduction to the character. Beep had hightailed it to Earth, where he takes over the television station and changes the programming to appeal to the lowest common denominator. To gain a massive audience, which he can hypnotize with subliminal messaging, to influence them all to kill through a children's show called Beep and Friends. Thankfully, the Sixth Doctor has also seen the decline in quality of the programming of this station, so he marches in and demands to speak to the manager. I absolutely love this. A lot of this audio is confrontation between Beep and the Doctor, as they're both trying to outsmart each other. Beep threatens to kill a bunch of kittens with poison gas, while the Doctor tries to figure out a way to end this madness. And in the end, he gives an interview to camera, where he completely slags off TV, and expresses that TV couldn't really do him justice anyway. The last time we see Beep in the canon is in the comic TV action, where Beep is fleeing the space police when he activates his dimensional drive and accidentally sucks him and the Eighth Doctor into a parallel universe where they arrive at the BBC Television Centre and Beep tries to do his old shit again where he tries to enslave the human race through television. The Fourth Doctor also shows up and from what I can tell this comic is a total trip. Incidentally, there's also a YouTube channel called Beep the Meep. They do action comic videos for Doctor Who comics new and old, so if you're interested, go have a look at their videos. Or you could just wait until the 60th. Just so everybody understands this, this is the equivalent of the Marvel Cinematic Universe doing a Howard the Duck movie. It's that niche and that ridiculous. And I kind of want to see a Howard the Duck movie. Yeah, this is happening. Beep the Meep is happening. And I couldn't be happier. This is exactly the sort of kick up the backside that this fandom needs. And it's exactly what I was hoping Russell would bring to the table. It plays in the same sort of stuff that he's been doing for years. I mean, even way back in 2005. The great thing about Beep the Meep is that he is a very cute exterior that is hiding a very dangerous and sadistic darkness within. And Russell has done those types of aliens before. The Slovenian, for example. I mean, sure, they do look like slimy aliens, but they also have teddy bear faces. I mean, look at those things. They look freaking cute. Anyone would think that they're harmless. Yeah, aside from the claws. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah, this, this, this is exactly the kind of thing that Russell would have done. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not surprised. But yeah, so I think that Beep the Meep is coming back. But what do you think? Leave something in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that. And I'll see you in the next video.